Steph Curry and the Warrior Knicks, yo. I've been looking forward to this for a while now. You know they'll be running and gunning. And Steph's gonna do two or three things that make you want to stop and stare. But we can't let that distract us. Because if we lose focus for even a second, they'll be up 20. So maybe it's up to me to put on a little show of my own. The Grizzlies have gone 4 of 10 shooting the ball here in the first quarter. Last season, Memphis fell late and would end up with the fifth seed in the NBA playoffs. Only one of two teams to make the playoffs each of the last five seasons, along with the San Antonio Spurs. Yeah, and they were a team that nobody wanted to play. Memphis drew Portland in that first round, and even though they were the fifth seed, they had home court advantage. Livingston kicks to Bogut. It's rebounded by Memphis. Gasol's got four rebounds in this game. No doubt the quarter just not going his way. Still scoreless. Now we know the Marcus Gasol was one of the most sought after free agents this past summer. Clark all along most figured he'd be back in Memphis. Yep, a winning team, max dollars. And don't forget now, he went to high school in Memphis while his brother Powell played there. He's where he belongs. Marcus Gasol, a first-time All-Star starter last season he and his brother Powell both starting in that game the first time that's ever happened in league history and having both those guys go head to head oh listen it, no doubt you could argue Marcus all is the best center in the league right now I mean this guy does it all defends rebounds passes scores I mean he's also a great teammate they all love him and to me that matters in the big picture when you're talking about developing chemistry and trust sometimes the difference between winning and winning it all is whether or not your teammates like you Memphis leading and here's Freak there's 37 seconds left here in the opening quarter a nice shot by Gasol just such a good shooter from that range and you factor in his height advantage it's almost unfair here is Livingston he hasn't yet put up any points in this one and the officials whistle a foul on the shot the bucket's good he'll go to the line Vince Carter he's checked in for Memphis the Warriors have shot two free throws and they're one of two so far the Grizzlies have gone 6 of 12 from the field here in the first quarter. Now here's Freak. Carter outside. Now Udrick to the right side. Here's Freak. And misses it off the right side of the rim. At the end of one, a closely contested game so far. Memphis out in front. They're up by one. And Steph Curry, a player within the gym range, told us about his... Anywhere five, six feet outside that three-point line, if I have a dribble, if I catch and shoot, if I have a good look, you know, I think Coach will allow me to take that shot. And, and it's tough to guard, especially when uh, you see a couple go in. Um, that basket gets a lot bigger. 
I was going to say, Greg, how big must that hoop look to Steph Curry and tough to guard might be the understatement of the day. Uh, I mean, he is just a, an insanely great shooter. I mean, arguably, the, the, the I don't think there's an argument. He's the best shooter in the world. The argument is whether or not Who's he's the, the best ball? shooter ever. ever. And, and listen, I can imagine there's very few times that, that Coach Curry is not going to allow this Flash brother to let her rip. <laughs> Welcome back, everyone. We're ready to get going again as this presentation of the NBA on 2K Sports continues. Players are topped off with Gatorade, hydrated, and ready to get going again as well. And taking a look at the Grizzlies' performance here, guys, uh, what have they been doing or not doing? It's all about their defense. They have just done a terrific job of negating the timing and spacing of their opponent. Every shot is challenged and challenged well. Taking a look at the Grizzlies. And off is the four with Gasol in the middle. Freak is out there at the Udrick, And it's Carter in at the three. Really nice job to convert the putback opportunity there. I mean, he stayed with that play from start to finish. That's something we say about him a lot. Livingston dishes to space. Pass to Livingston. Right at the free throw line. They get it again. Igudala. There we go. Now in the scoring column with that make, he is one for four. His hard work on the backboard really just has given them more opportunities to score. Second quarter of action, about a minute and a half played. Now here's Freak. He's guarded closely. Gasol passes to Freak. Four on the clock. Shot from free throw range. Another shot and stolen by Barnes. the court barbosa pushing it up and an important part of i'm sorry i couldn't hear you i thought i paid almost one hundred thousand dollars exactly and if you keep riding shotgun with Vic, you're gonna go broke quick fast and in a hurry because Vic is my friend and i grew up with him how many times i gotta tell you sir freak this is not a request i am not asking you to do this i am telling you to do this and the first order of business is that mr Vic van leer is banned from traveling with you on the road Vic is banned from the locker room and Vic is banned from this arena. And if I catch this guy, Vic, in or anywhere near the facilities, Mr. Vic Van Leer will be arrested for trespassing. Are you serious, sir? Brother, I'm a serious pimp. We all know that can be done. You know, when me and Vic were kids, playing summer tournaments at the Dome, we always imagined making it to the pro. And after the crowds left, if the street light was on the court, 11.30, close midnight, even one in the morning sometimes. <laughs> we used to practice player introductions, running on the court, giving dabs, high-fiving the teammates. And Vic, he would act as an announcer. You know, he would introduce me and announce my name on the loudspeaker. And the, the jumbotron would uh, flash to my image like little guys dressed in long shorts and a jersey. And now, fresh off his three-game, 62-point scoring streak, the youngest player to ever do so in NBA history, Frequency Vibrations! <laughs> so me and Vic were sitting in those empty bleachers at the Dome and dream like nobody's business. And now, now I'm living a dream. For real. And in so many ways, Vic was part of that. Please, listen to me. I mean, I know this guy's your dude from way back. Look, me and Vic go way back like the front seats of a 67 Cadillac. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> we go way back. Did you say... Did you say front seats? For the front seats of a 67 Cadillac. We go way back like the front seats of a 67 Cadillac. Well, you have me figured. <laughs> I'm going to be the hit once again at Herbie Allen at Sun Valley Vineyard because my fellow billionaires love it when I walk and call that dog. So that <laughs> almost sounds... No, let me tell you exactly what it sounds like. I respect admire, and most importantly, love you as a human being and a role model. But I pay you a lot, and 
I mean I pay you a lot of money to play for my team, and I am in this game to win it. And you can't win it with an albatross around your neck like Vic. So Vic is done. History. And here's some more lingo that I picked up from a former megastar who used to play for me several seasons ago. Thought I would never release him until I did. And now he's the sixth man on a struggling team in Venice. And yeah, I'm talking Venice with the canals and the gondolas and Harry's Bar, not the street ballers next to the fortune tellers on the beach in Cali. This guy used to tell me when he thought there was a player destroying our team, don't be a hero, cut that hero. And that is what I am telling you about Vic, freak. Don't be a hero, cut that zero. The only thing Vic brings into your life is headaches and unwanted and unnecessary negative attention. And it will begin to affect your mindset. And when it affects your mindset, it's going to affect your play. And when it affects your play, it's going to affect my team. And when it affects my team, it's going to affect my money. And if it affects my money, Google Translate will become your new freaking friend. I want a championship ring, freak, and I want you to help me get that ring. And banners after banners hanging from the Raptors in this arena. So, freak, hear me clearly and hear me good. Steve, G, G, Vic, Jada, go! handle your business. And remember, that contract you signed contains a morality clause, a very important clause that revolves around your conduct on and off the court and how it can negatively impact my team. Now, I don't want you to have to learn Italian or Croatian as a second language. And hey, playing pro ball overseas, there's nothing wrong with that. But like this, nor will the money be the same. And on top of all of that, this is the USOC, the greatest freaking country in the world. Ask yourself, is Vic worth all that? Think about it. Think long and think wrong. Not, and I understand some of his judgment might shadow his actual character. He's not that at all. Man, Vic, if you say something to me, we have to be tough. We have to love for each other. We're brothers. Blood could have made us any closer than that. I mean, he he has so much um, loyalty to me and to my family. You could see even Cece, you know, has uh, issues with him, but he's 